swingers, oh, the jungle VIP. I've reached the top and had to stop, and that's what's bothering me. I wanna be a man, man cop, and stroll right into town. And be just like the other men, I'm tired of moving around, oh. up everybody welcome back to another video today we're talking about ball pythons um this is kiva as some of you already know kiva is my ball python um we're going to talk a little bit about how to take care of them now there's totally nothing wrong with other ways of taking care of these guys i'm just going to show you guys how i keep kiva and what i do to care for him um start off with how should you feed them, how to go off of what size of mouse, rat, whatever, um, rodent to feed your ball python. Um, me personally, I use frozen thawed um, for his size. I use adult mice. Um, you want to go by the girthiest part of their body, which is probably right about here. As you can see, it's a little bit wider than my thumb. Um, that's one way to find out what size mouse, rat, you should be feeding your ball python. Another way to do it, say that you have already gotten your ball python, um, it's been on hopper mice for quite a while, and you think, hmm, my snake's getting kind of big, what can I do to find out if he should be moved up? What you can do is feed your ball python that hopper mouse and when it's done offer another one if the ball python takes the second hopper mouse the next meeting go ahead and try an adult size mouse um that's what i did for kiva here he was ready to go on to adult size mice and i offered two um one right after the other and he took both of them so i tried an adult mice the second feeding at well the next feeding after basically feeding. Um, now these guys do need a decent humidity. Um, about 50 to 60 percent is just fine. Um, you can use a tub, plastic tub. You can use a rack. You can use uh, a tank, a terrarium. Currently he is a 36 by 18 by 18 Exoterra. Um, I use Eco Earth. Um, he's got a ginormous heat pad with a heat lamp on top. Um, it stays about uh, 85, 90 degrees spot um, on the cool side about 75 to 85 degrees um, his favorite hiding spot is behind the background he gets back there and it's nice and tight for him so as you guys know snakes love the small places the smallest places that they can fit they're going to go to and that's where Kiva goes he loves it in there um, he loves going back there and that's where you can find him almost every single time Kiva is very docile I very 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 much recommend these guys as your first beginner snake these guys are awesome they make great pets um, they're very easy to care for as I said they eat once a week um, as they get older you can give them uh, feed every about two weeks um, to feed, depending on the size of your snake um, keep it here gets fed every Saturday along with the rest of the snakes um, but they they make awesome animals they make awesome pets and as long as you are on it and giving them the things they need, they're going to thrive for you. And there's tons of different morphs here. This is a normal morph. You can find these guys for about 25, about anywhere from 20 to 35 dollars at Reptile Expos. Now, if you go to a pet store, you're going to look at like 60, 70, 80 dollars for a normal morph. Um, I do recommend going to expos and not going to pet stores anyway. Um, pet stores don't always care of animals the way they should um, if you go to an expo check for mites we'll get into that in another video on how to check and how to check for your uh, ball python is it a healthy ball python what should you do if it stops eating actually we'll talk about that right now um, do not freak out if these guys stop eating for you ball pythons are very well known for going off eating for long amounts of time especially during breeding season and so on um, when they're in sheds sometimes they won't eat Kiva would not eat for the first two weeks 
on having him, which is fine. It's giving them, you got to give these guys time to adapt to their new habitats, their new setups, their new smells, and so on. You're new to them. It's new to you. Give them time. Don't freak out. These guys can go a long time without eating. So don't freak out. It's not a big deal. Um, now, if your snake has eaten in months and months and months, and it's losing weight, then the time to worry and think about going to a vet or finding someone that you know that is good with snakes that maybe a breeder or someone like that has had a lot of snakes that owns a lot of snakes that has had to deal with your situation once before themselves and then you can go ahead and try to assist me um do not do this without someone that knows what they're doing you can potentially hurt your snake um it's not a go-to thing just because your snake won't eat it skips a meal do not force feed your snake um it's not a good idea um this is a last resort if your snake is losing weight you can't afford to go to a vet find someone go to a forum look up brian barzak or someone like that that knows what they're talking about and let them show you exactly what to do and how to do it um i'm gonna go ahead and end the video there guys thanks for watching stay tuned for the next episode of snake care this is going to be a little mini series of just snakes so i'll have a playlist of all these videos coming soon so stay tuned thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next video before i get out of here go ahead and check out chucky at mad bio reptiles on youtube that is chucky at mad bio reptiles go check him out he's got an awesome channel he's doing awesome things over there so please go check him out he's very inspiring very positive person and he's got some very awesome videos thank you guys once again for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video